Blue face, baby. Yeah, I bust down, Tatiana. Yeah, I, I wanna see you bust down. Bust down, Tatiana. Bust down, Tatiana. I wanna see you bust down. Pick it up. Hey guys, it's Hazel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not subscribed already, then what are you doing? My name is Hazel. I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. So if you want to come along the ride, click that subscribe button, join the fam. As you can see from the title from today's video, I'm going to be filming a winter try on haul and it's going to be the coziest winter try on haul yet i have coats i have boots i have tons and tons of sweaters because your girl had no sweaters i could not rock these crop tops in this nyc weather so i'm here to serve and bring you guys all the looks for this 2019 winter and we're gonna survive this together you know so i'm not gonna talk too long i'm just gonna jump straight into the video so let's go so the first item i want to show you guys is this cute cute knit crop from brandy melville i know i said i wasn't gonna rock any crop but this is a very 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 thick sweater even though it's a little crop i wouldn't say it's completely crop it's kind of just a little high rise on the sweater department but it is really really cute it's ribbed super snugly the only thing is that i hate how black items just get super super linty so quickly that happens to all my items and i use a lint roller but i still feel like i haven't picked up all the lint from it so yeah but it is super super cute it kind of has like a high neckline as well the material it doesn't feel itchy which is something that i have a big problem with when it comes to sweaters so anytime a sweater doesn't feel itchy and it's really soft and looks good i'm happy next item i got was from asos i haven't really ordered anything from asos i'm pretty sure asos is like a uk brand so yeah i just was introduced to it because i saw a lot a lot of people doing try on hauls and asos kept coming up so i finally checked it out and i got this graphic tee just because i really am into graphic tees and it's super cute it says actual goddess on it because hello that is what i am really really like this font and i also like the holy picturing on it even though my mom thinks that this is um a devil worshiping shirt not that she thinks it's a devil worshiping shirt but she thinks it's like super goth or something she's like are you going goth now because tell me and i'm like no mom i just think this shirt is super cute i really really like blacks and reds and just comboing it together i guess so the next thing i got from asos were these high-waisted skinny jeans i really needed a pair of skinny jeans and at first i really did like these but i still for some reason feel like they're too small on me they're a size 28 which is weird because i'm like a 24 but they're really really small on me i think it's just because the uk sizing is different but it they look good it's just i don't know like they're nice and tight i guess but i think i've just been like i don't know when i got them i was like oh my god i need some high-waisted skinny jeans you know whatever but i started to realize that i don't think my body shape looks really good in tight high-waisted jeans i think if i am gonna wear high-waisted jeans because i'm petite they have to be kind of like a mom style or like a girlfriend style i actually might venture into the low-waisted pants um crowd shocking i know but never thought i would say that but yeah i think also because i have a long torso low-waisted pants or mid-rise pants at least accentuate my body more so the next thing i got was a red beanie from forever 21 and i just i'm obsessed with the color red um i just had a scrunchie on that was red as well i've just been obsessed with the color red and also i just really really like beanies for bad hair days and they're really warm and i don't know these from forever 21 are really really cute and super super cheap the next thing i got from forever 21 is this really pretty teal kind of athleisure pullover it has this cool like diamond pattern i forgot what you would call this but it kind of is like this athleisure sort of like pullover but it kind of looks like a bomber it's really really comfy and it has this zip neck which i love it's really comfy it feels really soft and it all it feels satiny almost it feels really satiny and it has this cool pocket in the front it also cinches at the bottom it's not cropped but it is like a little on the high rise but it cinches in at the bottom so i feel like it's really really cute because it kind of cinches in around your waist and i really like that and i think it also just looks really good on camera and in photos and in real life so a win for me so the next thing i got was this 
item from Lady Foot Locker, which I don't really go into much unless I'm looking for shoes, but even then I just go into regular Foot Locker. But um, I got this really, really cute champion hoodie. I've always wanted one of these because they have them in like Urban Outfitters and I always see them and I'm like, they're super cute, but I never want to pay like $80 for them. This one I think was actually only $45 or $55, which in retrospect, it's still a little expensive, not gonna lie, but I really, really like it. It's super comfortable. It's cropped really cute. I like wearing it with sweats or just like, I don't know. I needed more sweaters that were thick and just like good for casual wear and I can throw on with like my sneakers or anything like that because I really do like being comfortable as much as I do like dressing up. Literally fits me perfectly and the color is also on point. So yeah, champion hoodie check so the next couple of items i got from shein they were kind enough to give me these items and i'm so excited to show you these because the quality of the clothes are amazing now i've purchased items from shein before but it's either a hit or miss their sizing is always kind of off and the material isn't always the best so basically it's just kind of inconsistent when shopping there so i was a little nervous when i was getting this package from them because last time i got stuff from them was maybe about one or two years ago and i wasn't 100% happy with everything that I got so I was a little nervous but they contacted me and I wanted to try their stuff again because I have seen people featuring their clothes in videos saying that they were really good quality and they felt like the quality has gotten better over time so I wanted to see for it myself and I can gladly agree that the quality has gotten way better. I also want to say that this video is not sponsored by Shein. They just sent me these items to show you guys and I thought that if I did like them, I would end up showing you guys. So I love them and I'm going to get into it right now. So I got this really, really, really pretty houndstooth slash plaid kind of skirt. The material is really thick and nice. It's not see-through at all, which I love. Also will keep you warm in the winter time because it's not just like a thin fabric or a thin kind of skirt. When I got this, I plan to pair it with these like black or nude stockings and some boots or some heels or anything like that. You could really either dress this up or make it casual, but I really like the blue, the white, and the black. I felt like it was like a really pretty wintry blue theme, so I really, really like this skirt. I want to get into wearing skirts more often because... Even though they're not sweatpants, which are my true love, they look really, really good on me, so I want to start wearing them more. And then I got this sweater to match the skirt, and this outfit will be popping. I've already wore this sweater a couple times because it is the softest and most comfortable thing in the entire world. It is this baby blue fuzzy sweater. It's not cropped, which I love because it keeps me warm. And I don't know if you guys can tell from the material, but literally it looks... Like, it's so soft. Like, your favorite blanket in a shirt. And it is a pretty high neck, too, so it'll keep you really, really warm. Material is also very, very thick. It does not shed. I actually just washed this because I did wear it a couple times. It does not shed at all, and it doesn't, like, when you wash it, it doesn't ruin the fabric. I thought for some reason when I put it in the laundry machine that it would kind of ruin the fabric of it, but no, it just remained intact. It looks very rich. It looks very expensive, too, so I am obsessed with this, and I cannot wait to pair these two items together. The next item I got is another sort of fuzzy item, and I don't know why, but I've been really into just, like, teddy bear and fuzzy things, but I have also noticed that, like, if it's made of poor quality, then it kind of just like gets really like shaggy and like raggedy and it's really gross. So I've tried to make sure that I only get things that don't shed that much. So let me just show you this. This is this really, really cute teddy pink coat. It's so huge. I can hardly show it to you guys in the camera, but you'll see it on the try on portion of the video. It is just pink on the outside. It also has a little button if you didn't know. It does have a button. I hate that some teddy coats kind of come where you can't zip or button them because it's like, what's the point of like having a coat that you can't zip or button? So yeah, and then it just has the white fuzzy on the inside. Now, this is what I will say about this coat. 100% warm, 100% comfortable. I will fall asleep in this coat because it's that soft and comfortable. And it just feels like you're in like a huge blanket. But the inside of it does shed, which is kind of annoying because it does get on your clothes. And I'm not sure why just the inside of it sheds. But the outside doesn't shed at all. It's really just like the inside. is. You can kind of see it's not like the best quality. But the outside looks 
phenomenal and you're not really going to be able to tell from the inside because you're just really wearing it as a coat so if you're interested in purchasing this i just would warn you that it does shed on the inside the last item i got was a fancy fancy dress and i know you're thinking what the heck why did you get a fancy dress for and because i saw it and i had to get it i picked up this gorgeous burgundy flowered applique sort of sleeve dress it is so first of all i have like maybe two dresses or three i own that are i feel like are made for my body that are that amazing on me and this is one of them i tried this on it was 10 out of 10 recommend i love the details of the sleeves i just feel like they're so so pretty and i'm definitely think i'm gonna wear this on valentine's day if i go out to dinner or maybe if i just go out like somewhere really really nice it looks absolutely stunning when i first got it it was a little wrinkled but when i put it on it just all the wrinkles went away it just completely conformed to my body it comes with a sash that kind of ties your waist together so it gives me a little shape a little hourglass thing going on it was either between this one or the baby pink one that they have because they do have a lot of colors on their website but the baby pink one was a little too um i think it was more see-through so i wanted to stick with the burgundy one because it's not see-through at all and it looks stunning so the next item i got is from boohoo now boohoo is also a uk brand if you guys didn't know their clothes are pretty good honestly all the clothes that i've bought from boohoo i've been pretty content with so i got this little number over here this is a red snakeskin body suit so it fits really well on my body it's not see-through which i also love and it just photographed amazing when i took pictures in it it looks really really good on me too i think i look really really good in red because that's what a lot of people tell me but yeah i just wanted a really cool you know like fun going out shirt because i don't really have a lot of those when i have like dinners or parties or like birthdays or things like that so i wanted to get a fun little trendy shirt but i also didn't want to spend too much money so boohoo was perfect for that by the way i feel like boohoo forever 21 and stores like that they're really really cheap and they're really good for buying like trendy pieces like when you need like a partying top or like a party dress or things like that so i would definitely check them out too the only thing about this i don't know if you guys can tell but you'll probably see it when i try it on but the actual like bodysuit is just super high-waisted like i wore high-waisted jeans with this and even still it was like peeking out like you could still see my skin i don't know why it's so high-waisted but it is it kind of looks like i'm wearing some kind of like crazy thong sort of bodysuit not that this isn't that i mean it's not but like it just looks kind of crazy because it's like you wear high-waisted pants but then your skin's still showing i don't know maybe it's a look maybe it's not but i i was just kind of confused so the next three sweaters i got were from pretty little thing and i also have never tried their clothes before but i decided to give it a shot i decided to give a lot of uk shops a try just because they're always featured in like clothing hauls and i just wanted to see if it was good quality or not so i wanted to get a lot of basic sweaters like a nude gray and black that's pretty much what i got because i don't have basic sweaters that i can just wear with anything and that are comfortable i picked up this gray crew neck sweater and i wanted to get this an extra large so i could wear it as like a dress or something but i didn't just because I mean, I don't know why I didn't. I just got it as a sweater, but I kind of prefer it that way just because it's really comfy to wear. I can pair with a lot of things, and it also is really warm inside. Like, the material isn't, like, like papery material. It actually has, like, cotton and thick, and it makes me very, very happy because I don't have anything like this, and I finally do. I really like casual kind of streetwear, so I feel like basic sweaters like this, you can really dress up with like some cool pants or some cool sneakers, so I was really excited to get some of these. The next sweater I got, I literally wear this all the time and I get so many questions on it. It's just this camel or nude kind of sweater. It is so cute. It has this like, I think it's like a mock, I think it's called like a mock zipper kind of sweater. I forgot exactly what it was called but yeah i wear this to fills it is so so cute really really warm again it doesn't have that papery material on the inside and it zips up all the way so it covers your neck so when you're cold yeah i just wear this almost every other day and i get a lot of questions on it so it's from pretty little thing and it's just a good sweater to have i feel like you could wear it with a bunch of things the final sweater that i picked up was a black 
sweatshirt and as basic as that sounds i don't have a black sweatshirt fun fact i used to steal my brother's gray and black hoodies because i freaking love them i love men's hoodies i feel like they look so good i actually like a lot of men's clothing because i feel like they look really dope and cool and i just picked this black sweater up because i was like i'm tired of borrowing your hoodie my sister borrows his hoodies too so then i would have to share so i was like let me just get myself one call it a day because i feel like a black hoodie is a staple for me because anytime i'm going out and i just want to throw something on i literally just go for a black hoodie some sneakers some jeans leggings sweatpants but always a black hoodie it's a staple and i could not believe that i didn't have it so i finally got it and i just got this in a small i got all the sweaters in a small by the way they kind of run a little big so you could size down i feel like and finally this is kind of a part of the haul but sort of not really um my dad bought me these for my birthday i actually have a bunch of clothes and shoes and stuff that i got for my birthday but i don't want to show them just because I feel like that was last year, so why would I show them now? My birthday was December 21st, if you guys who do not know. But I did get a bunch of stuff, and that was around the time that my dad got me these. But I feel like these are just the cutest winter boots, and I've been wearing them to filth once again. And I just needed to share this with you guys because I'm obsessed. So I got these vinyl boots from Aldo. I actually saw them on Princess Polly, and I never picked them up just because I hate spending money on myself. Like, I wish I... like. I like it like I'm happy but then I hate it because I feel like it's a waste of money spending money on myself like I rather spend money on food which is so sad but yeah so I went to Aldo I saw these I tried them on because I was looking like I said I was in love with this kind of style of shoe so I was looking a lot of places for them and I finally found them in Aldo unexpectedly I was actually looking for heels and I found them tried them on and my dad was like you need to get them I'll buy them for you happy birthday and I was like you are the man but they just look really really good on my legs my legs look very long very nice and i like that they kind of like um you know conform to your ankle because i got skinny ankles so anything that will conform to my ankle is amazing and they just have a really pretty nice chunky heel so that they're not too painful they do get a little painful after walking them for a while but i think that's just because i haven't broken them in yet Alright guys, so that's the end of my mini little try-on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl if you want to see more of me. All the clothes and items will be linked down in the description bar below. And I will catch you guys in the next one.